Well, hello, everybody. It is Thursday, and Thursday, as you know, in the round Toby Walker land here, it is 3 p.m. of guitar lesson and a 7 p.m. concert. I'm really glad to see folks are in the room. And, uh, well, I have this guitar here, and if you have anything to say, you can... Uh, you can have it right in the chat box. You can chat, and I can read what you're saying, and I can answer your questions, your comments. I just want to say that we're back on Twitch again. Twitch has been doing actually very well, and I was able to put on uh, some some nice little uh, a nice little links up. You could see up right about here. Uh, say right there, right there is my donation link, and uh, for the concert today. What I'm going to be doing is uh, going to be donating. Um, I gave a guitar lesson earlier, and that was at 3 o'clock. And I am uh, going to give you the YouTube video of that lesson, the entire YouTube video, and that's only for a $5 donation. Uh, for a $10 donation, I'm going to give you that, plus video instruction on how I play Robert Johnson's Dust My Bloom, uh, Broom. So that's a video and tablature. Uh, for $20, you're going to get those two things plus a whole set of lessons, video instruction lessons and tablature on how you can play lead guitar on acoustic guitar, but you don't have to break any speed limits. You can be doing just very few things to sound very, very tasty, and I show you how to do that. And finally, for the last thing, for $30, you get all of that stuff plus three months access to my uh, Premier Members Club. And that Premier Members Club has 450, over 450 uh, instructional videos for guitar. And it also has a whole bunch of really cool tips for guitar players. It has uh, where I do a, a mini concert and then a workshop where I talk about what I play and I show everyone what I play. It's really a, it's really a cool site. You get three-month access to all of that. So that's that in that right there, that little donation box there. Anything you can donate would certainly help me out. So I think I'm going to start this off uh, with uh, one of my favorite uh, players. And uh, um, I've done this song before. This is a song that was originally done by uh, the Reverend Gary Davis. And uh, my version of it is a little closer to, I think, uh, Yorma Kalkinen's of Hot Tuna's version. But of course, then I put little bluegrassy things in the middle of it, and who knows what's going to happen. So this is uh, I Am the Light of This World.
that's always a great little song to just start things rolling. I have a little trivia question for everybody. You can see this guitar I'm playing. I was asking, I gave a guitar lesson earlier at 3 o'clock, and I was asking the same question. So if anybody uh, was at that lesson and you already know the answer, don't ruin it for everybody else. But I want to ask everybody, you can see that this is a Martin guitar, but let's see how many people can absolutely uh, can try and guess as what is the make of this guitar and possibly the year of this guitar. You can see, I'll give it a little closer uh, look, this guitar has been around. That's a hint. This thing has been around and it's got all kinds of road scars. So if you have a guess as to what uh, the model is, and maybe I'll give you within, say, a, I'll be generous, within a 10-year period, if you can guess what, when this guitar was made, you could put that in the chat, and uh, I'm going to play another song, and while I'm playing that song, you can put your answers in there, and we'll see, we're going to see who's going to get the right answer. I'll tell you, I'll even go even further. Whoever gets the right answer, you're going to send me an email, and I will send you a transcription of how I play police dog blues. That's the first one that could actually get that answer correct, okay? So here we go. This is uh, a tune by uh, a man named uh, Lemon Jefferson. Uh, uh, they call him Blind Lemon Jefferson. But I really hate calling all these people blind. Let's just call him Lemon Jefferson. Uh, he was a street singer. Uh, he sang on the streets of uh, Dallas and Fort Worth. Uh, he also traveled a lot with uh, a man named Lead Belly, a very young Lead Belly. Lead Belly used to lead him around, and they used to play on a, on a, on a train together. Uh, they used to play on a train together. How do you like that? So um, this is a tune that he wrote called Matchbox Blues, and of course this was also done by a lot of people, uh, Carl Perkins being one of them who made him really, really exciting. But uh, I'm going to play it very close to the way Lemon Jefferson played it. Uh, it. You know, he didn't really play dance music like people could dance to. Uh, instead, like I said, he was a street singer. So he, he played it the way he heard it and the way he felt it. And that's kind of what I'm going to try to do right now. So this is Matchbox Blues. <laughs> Box hold my clothes. Yeah, I want to know would a matchbox hold my clothes. I got so many matches and I got so far to go. I said, Excuse me, Mama, who may your manager be? I said, Excuse me, Mama. Time and she hoochie all the time. I've been a gal across town, man. She hoochie all the time. You keep that up, baby. You're gonna make me lose my mind. Now you 
usually I don't play get, I don't play songs pretty much exactly the way someone else played them, but Lemon Jefferson's style was so unique, and I just wanted to bring that one particular song out uh, to show you how he was playing in that style. Uh, it's just very offbeat. Uh, you can't dance to it, and certainly a band couldn't play along with it because you just never knew when he was going to make his next chord change. Uh, I'm gonna now. I want to do. Um, Let's see if anybody tried to guess. Nobody's tried to guess this guitar. What, what kind of guitar this is? If anybody can guess it, put it in the chat, and I'll let you know. But this has this has an interesting story. Uh, I'll give you a little hint. Um, this was the only Martin guitar that I could afford at the time. So there's a hint. So if anybody's going to say it's from like 1934. Well, that's not true. Well, actually, no, that's not true because there's no way I can afford a Martin guitar from 1934. I'm going to do a little tune that I wrote. Uh, this is an instrumental that I wrote, and it'll sort of, uh, I guess, describe what I'm doing with my right hand. Uh, my thumb plays uh, a lot of the bass. Must be that... Let's see, Mike, you were here. Must be that everyone was here this afternoon. They probably know what type of guitar this is. All right, Mike, what, I'll tell you what. Why don't you just... I think you remember, Mike, what type of guitar this... What kind of guitar this is. So you could probably put it in the chat and let everybody know if you remember. Anyway, that's my bass player. That's my thumb. It goes back and forth. Now, my fingers play... Um, well, they, they could play sort of like a melody. I, I mean, I could go like... like that but that's a little square mike got it to 1990 0016 you got it mike all right well now i have a my fingers are also going to play let's just say a little bit of rhythm while this while this is going so i like a little like a horn section also play uh, like you would say like a horn part you know but sometimes I like to play like a little lead guitar Thank you. 
the section. The Twitcher, hey, uh, you've been listening. You love that version of Light of the World. And Twitcher, thank you. Thank you, I appreciate that. Uh, we're going to slow it down a little bit. Uh, and, uh, you know, seeing as how we're on Twitch, my friend, good old Ben, reminded me that um, if you want to follow me, I would really appreciate that. Uh, you can follow me just up there. You can just click on Follow. And you can follow me, and that way you'll know when I'm going to be on. Sometimes I'm on, I don't even announce it. I just start streaming something. And you'll get a notice and saying that I'm right here. So this is a, uh, this is a, this is a, uh, actually a 2004 uh, National Steel guitar. And uh, I love playing this guitar a great deal. Um, I play a lot of slide on it. This particular slide that I use is made by a, it, these are custom made for me. Uh, they're made by a guy named Todd Sigmer. Uh, they call him Doc. He's out in Colorado. And these, these slides are really made out of his own little secret mixture of, uh, of clay and porcelain. And he really puts these things together well. And he, he asked me, he says, I would like to make a Toby Walker model. So I said, okay, great. So if you go to Rocky Mountain Slides and you ask for the Toby Walker model, it's there. So that's the slide that I use. And it has a really nice, nice little tone to it. I'm going to do a tune by uh, Blind Willie McTell, but I'm going to call him, like I said, Willie McTell. He came out of uh, North Carolina. He came out of actually Georgia. And this is a song called Savannah Mama. Uh, Twitcher, you're following me already. Thank you. I really appreciate that. This is a tune called Savannah Mama. Uh, it's one of his more plain uh, songs, and I just love playing it. Uh, you'll hear it. So here we go. me in 
a mama I'm gonna write my initials down I'm going back down to Savannah, mama I'm gonna write my initials down The Atlanta men hate me And the women, they just don't want me So Twitcher was asking, what picks do I use? You don't use picks, but you may have to at some point. Well, you may, if you choose to, you can. Um, people ask me this all the time. I tell them it's up to you uh, to experiment with finger picks, but these finger picks that I happen to use, I like the silver Dunlops, and they, have, they come in different gauges. This particular one is 0 0.18. Uh, I like to bend them around my fingers. I can get them nice and tight so they don't fall off, although there's no guarantee. And uh, the finger pick, the thumb pick that I use is just any large plastic thumb pick will do. This particular one is made, I think, by Planet Waves, but Dunlop makes them. A lot of people might make them. So I'm going to do a tune now. Uh, I love doing this one. Uh, I love doing all of them, but this one is a particular favorite of mine. Uh, the first person that I ever saw a picture of that had a guitar like this was a man named Tampa Red. Uh, he recorded in the 30s, and Tampa Red, uh, he used a national tricone. If you listen to his music, you can really hear that thing ring. And he did this instrumental uh, called the Boogie Woogie Dance, and somebody had a question, uh, how he has a question of what length slide it is. I'm not sure. Uh, as a matter of fact, if you go on, on the Rocky Mountain Slide website, you look under Toby Walker, you know, uh, Toby Walker's signature slide, that gives you all the dimensions. But what I like about this is you can even ask um, them to customize it for you. You can even ask them to give you the inner diameter. Because some people have big, thick fingers and some people have smaller fingers. So, they, you know, regular slides don't do that. Doc makes them custom made, so uh, he can do that. Thanks, John. You like Savannah. Cool. Well, I'm going to do this one by Tampa Red. This is called the Boogie Woogie Dance, and I like improvising in it a whole lot.
I never know how that one's going to come out. <laughs> All the video and the sound are good. Good. I'm glad that. Yeah, I never know how that, th that just comes out all different kinds of ways. I'm not really sure uh, what I do half the time in that. Uh, I know there's a couple little things I like going to, and that's what I like going to, but... Um <laughs> one someone says uh, learning banjo as well so the uh, so we'll check which are the most comfortable and most effective yeah banjo players use these switch and also um, uh, dobro players and pedal steel players I uh, use these so you you know who knows what you can uh, what you can do with this stuff uh, let's see now I'm gonna uh... <laughs>
<laughs> Man, I get a kick out of playing that thing. All right, get, it's getting late here in the UK. Okay, you'll watch the rest on Twitch video. Yeah, you will, because it'll be up here for a couple of weeks. I'm glad I well, I'm going to do this next one. This is one, it's a favorite one of my gal. I love playing this one. <laughs> John, that was fun. You bet. You bet. I don't know what I'm, what I, you, as you know, John, I mean, you know, I think I've, uh, we're working on traveling Riverside Blues. It's just a whole matter of subs, just kind of letting yourself go with what you know, so you learn more, and then you get to let yourself go even more. So, uh, this is a tune called, Who's Gonna Be Your Sweet Man Tonight? I don't know. <laughs> Drives me wild when she shaking her hips. Who's gonna be your sweet man? Wherever that gal goes, somebody, 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 you know, somebody gonna start a fight. Oh, 
yeah. <laughs> Well, I don't know how many people have ever heard of uh, Billy C. Wirtz. Uh, Billy C. Wirtz is a boogie-woogie piano player, great boogie-woogie blues piano player out of Florida. And I was very uh, fortunate to share the bill with him a couple of times. And uh, this one particular time, he was playing a song which I just thought was so cool. Uh, it's, uh, baby, it's called What I Used to Do All Night Now Takes Me All Night to Do. And he did it in a boogie-woogie fashion, which I thought was pretty cool, but I figured I'd want to do it in a slower way because the lyrics are so funny, and I really wanted to slow it down and bring the lyrics out a little bit more, but I wanted to play it more in a, in a slow, blind Blake-ish style. So here we go. I got hair growing places where it never grew before And the places that it's been, it ain't there no more Time marches on, and don't you know it's true What I used to do all night, now it takes me all night to do I used to hang out in the places where the rock and rollers used to play but now if I'm out past eight, they better have a hell of a buffet. Like my high fiber cereal, I'm just passing through. What I used to do all night, now it takes me all night to do. You know I'm aged, but I'm mellow, like a fine cut of steak. I just hope some gal grabs me before my expiration date. I used to love it when my baby whispered soft and sincere But now when she says stick it in She's talking about my miracle ear Jalopy. I'm getting a little creaky. Well, the ride's still good, but the springs are a little squeaky. It goes into gear. <laughs> a little bit of persuasion, rear end wobbles. May even backfire on occasion. Like Lance and I told Guinevere, honey, tonight's been tough. Said, oh, once a king, always a king, but once a night is sure enough. Yes, I was rocking my baby. She said, I oh, honey, no more. She said, I love you, darling, but I just can't let you go. Before you get too happy, let me give you a little tip. Next time, put on your glasses, cause you grab the pond and grip. So he's slightly suggestive in his lyrics, but he writes songs a lot dirtier than that one and a lot more straight ahead uh, than that one. So that's, uh, I've been doing, I've been liking do this one too. Uh, this is an old um, uh, Little Walter tune. Uh, Little Walter's just a fabulous harmonica player. Uh, I was in a band one time. We didn't need, we weren't even out there long enough to get, for the band to form a name. All right, we had this bass player who's just, uh, uh, I would say he's a dynamite bass player, but he also had a dynamite uh, short fuse personality, see. Uh, we were, I mean, this was one of the best blues bands. Uh, it, was a, it was the best um, 
one of the best bands I was ever in. I was a guitar player. Uh, we had a harmonica player that did lots of Little Walter, Sonny Boy. He did all of that, plus a lot of his own stuff. Uh, we had the bassist, and we had this drummer we called Metronome. And uh, we did like maybe one or two rehearsals. Everybody knew the songs. We were doing things like the fabulous Thunderbirds and everything else. And uh, we were ready to do our very first gig. And we actually did the very first gig. And uh, somebody mouthed off something. I don't know what it was, but the bass player put his bass down and went out into the crowd and started fist fighting with the guy who said something. And we were fired before we finished our first set. And I'm telling you, this band was great, but this bass player was out of his mind. Uh, but this was a song, we used to do songs like this, and this is a tune called uh, You're So Fine by Little Walter. <laughs> Talk to myself, I'm in love with you, baby. I don't want nobody else, you're so fine. You know I love you all the time. You're so fine, pretty mama. I want to love you all the time. so fine by little Walter I'm gonna do uh, one for you folks this is um, somebody had asked me to do this how are you fingering that a chord I'm just kind of you mean this one Howie I'm just kind of like uh, it's like an F shape but it's a very loose F shape So, and the, the B chord, I'm doing the same thing, but I got my thumb a little tough to get that on the B. So that's how I'm doing that one. Uh, boy, we got clapping from Bates W. Pride. <laughs> that's funny. So anyway, uh, just above, just above my uh, my left shoulder here, right there, 
is my donation. Uh, if you can donate something, that would be really great. Uh, just that, it's just type in the uh, tinyurl.com forward slash uh, Toby Walker. And uh, that would, you'll see a donation page and you see all these things that I'm giving back to you for your donation, okay? Uh, for um, $5 and that's all, I'm going to send you a YouTube video of the guitar lesson that I gave earlier at 3 o'clock. And uh, for $10, I'm going to throw in on top of that a videotape lesson of how I do dust my broom. And for $20, I'm going to give you those two things plus a whole series of lessons on how to play really tasty, a really nice tasty lead guitar without having to break any speed limits. Make it really nice tasty licks in there. And then for $30, just another 10 bucks, you're gonna have all of those things plus three month access to my premier membership site, with, which has over 450 video instruction. And matter of fact, I keep adding to these things. So I don't even, it's gotta be hot, way higher than that. There are video instructional, video, instructional videos for guitar players and tablature and all kinds of other, countless other cool stuff. So you got three months to cruise around in there and learn all kinds of good things. That's for 30 bucks. So there's my donation, uh, my donation link right up there. Uh, and I'm gonna do a tune. Um, uh, this is, I had a request for this one. Uh, this is going to be, let me think now, we got, um, we got uh, somebody's, I guess, following me. That's, I guess that's what that is. I don't know what that is, but I can't even read the language. But, well, glad to have you. Uh, Want to become famous. Oh, it's somebody who says he wants to become famous. Let's see. We are going to, uh, we're going to say, no, I don't want to become famous. So we're just going to block him out of there. We don't want that guy around. All right. It's amazing. I guess maybe, uh, let's see, let's just leave that alone there. Good. So, uh, you know, I don't want to become famous. I don't need that. I'm right there. Uh, oh, it's bots. That's what that is. It's a bot. Well, bots are interesting. Aren't they interesting? Let's, let's do another one. Let's get that other bot out of there. Uh, yeah, we, we banned him, and let's let's do that again. Let's get that bot out of here. It's amazing. Okay, folks, got rid of them. I'm going to do this one. I had a request for this one. Um, I don't, uh, I kind of do it the way Gary Davis do it, does it, but I do a lot of other things. <laughs> Rusty, I'm already famous. <laughs> uh, I'm going to do this like, uh, thanks, Rusty. I'm going to do this um, Cincinnati flow rag, but I've, I've, put in so many different variations, and I love to teach this. I used to teach this at an advanced um, uh, guitar camp for super advanced players, and they wanted to know all the variations I put in here. So this is my version of Cincinnati Flow Rag. <laughs>
Somebody also put you already famous. I am your fan. Well, thank you so much. Uh, folks, if you want to follow me, I figured we got a couple of new followers. That's wonderful. Uh, you can follow me. Just click up there, follow me. You can also subscribe to my uh, Twitch channel. That helps me out a whole lot, too. So, so I'm going to finish this off, folks. I've been playing this one a lot, and I, I geez, for the last year I've been playing this one. Uh, you're very welcome. Captain, thank you. You're very, very welcome. So I'm going to do this one. Uh, this is my version of Embryonic Journey. Uh, it never comes out the same way twice, and I kind of like that. So here we go, folks. This is for the guitar players. This is in drop D tuning.
that's it, folks. Um, that's my version of Embryonic Journey. Uh, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the show tonight. Uh, audio and video, great tonight. No lag or freeze. Mike, that's really good to hear. Howie, wow. <laughs> uh, San Francisco hippie girl says, yeah. Hello. I know who that is. That's Michelle. Michelle, I'm back on Twitch. Okay, I'm glad. I bet you're glad to hear that. And Michelle signed up for um, uh, one of my uh, my video, my uh, virtual workshops this weekend. Uh, if you want to go to my website, that's TobyWalkersLessons.com, uh, and on there in the uh, extra section, you're going to see virtual workshop this weekend. I'm giving virtual workshops. It's all about the blues that I learned down in Mississippi. Uh, Bates, thanks so much. Congratulations. Wow, so good to hear good music. Thank you, Christian. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, folks. I love sharing this music. Thursday is guitar day. Thursday is a guitar lesson. And Thursday is guitar concert. So every Thursday at 3 o'clock and 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, I'm going to be right here. Uh, if you would like, please subscribe to my Twitch uh, website. And, uh, and I will see you again, uh, Michelle. I'll see you, see you this weekend taking one of the workshops. And uh, thank you, everyone, for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And have a great, great time and stay safe out there, okay? Take care.